So we are excited to see Conor McGregor step into the octagon here inside Ericsson Globe, Stockholm, Sweden. He is truly the most highly touted Irish prospect to ever fight in the UFC. But Conor McGregor will have to dig deep to prove himself tonight against Marcus Grimmage. The brightest prospect to emerge from Ireland in years, Conor McGregor has shown himself to be a top candidate for world title honors in the coming years. And as his UFC debut approaches tonight, anticipation for the fighting pride of Dublin is at a fever pitch. Marcus Brimage's raw talent was on display on season 14 of The Ultimate Fighter, but he's really stepped his game up in the time following the show, going three for three with wins over Stephen Bass, Maximo Blanco, and Jimmy Hedis. Tonight, he'll try to remain unbeaten in the octagon against Conor McGregor. Coming up next, Conor, notorious McGregor, swears off against Marcus, the Bama Beast Brimage. Many ways to define confidence. I'm going to say he's a confident <laughs> young man. He is 24 years old. Great winning streak as he makes his UFC debut. Nine first round finishes. Uh, the man holds belts in two different weight classes. In the Cage Warriors promotion, the largest promotion in the UK and Ireland, uh, he has had a ton of success. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been talking about Conor McGregor for a long time. He is a true knockout artist, goalie. He can knock you out with anything, whether it's his feet, his knees, his hands. His head movement is unbelievable, his feints. A lot of things that I talk about with my students and a lot of the people that I work with, fighters, I always say, feints and head movement. Conor McGregor has all that. And then on top of that, he's got knockout power. Yeah. He has the ability to find your chin. And he's an excellent grappler. He's been working very hard in his wrestling as well. And we're gonna find out if he's the real deal. Again, UFC is a completely different level and Conor says he's ready for it. He wants to belt that featherweight, and he wants to belt that lightweight as well. First things first, Marcus Primage. Second fighter from Dublin, Tommy Egan, fought in the UFC, actually in Dublin, uh, back when we had our show in Ireland. And Conor, though, has a ton of hype. There's a whole nation watching this young yeah. man. Tom Egan actually got Conor McGregor. Actually, they both got each other into MMA. They both said, hey, why don't you train boxing? And the other one said, hey, why don't you train jiu-jitsu? And they came up together, and Conor McGregor has just been on fire over in Ireland and in the UK. Just a dynamic striker. And you want a fun guy to watch, he's your guy. National amateur boxing champion, professional mixed martial artist, the notorious Conor McGregor. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Dublin, Ireland's Conor McGregor, 24 years old, four years younger than Marcus Brimage. 5'4", Marcus Brimage, so five inches taller as McGregor reached nearly identical. Once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 12 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, 65.8 kilos. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Conor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. Six wins, one loss. He stands five feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, 65.8 kilos. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Marcus from Bamba Beach, Brimage. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Robert Sundell. Robert Sundell, our referee. A lot of talk, a lot of emotion yesterday at the weigh-ins, and now these two men get to fight. Marcus Brimage, Ready? Conor McGregor. Ready? Fight. And here we go. Quickly taking the center of the octagon. And right into battle, Brimage in the white. This is exactly what Brimage needs to do. He needs to dump down the fight. He can't let Conor get off, get his rhythm going, and get his momentum going. Conor loves angles. He loves to mix it up. He'll step off, and Brimage just has to stay in his face. 
Black trunks for Dublin, Ireland's McGregor. Very technical and precise striker. Nice shot by Brimage, though. So far, it's Brimage landing the bigger shots, but out of Connor's 12 wins, 11 are knockouts. Connor with an uppercut there, Kenny. 11 are knockouts, and he almost did it again. He clipped him on the way in. He can find your chin from anywhere. Again, nice slip and a little counter. You can see how comfortable on the feet McGregor is. It's unbelievable. Look at the angles. He circles. He can fight going forwards. He can fight going backwards. Look, Look at that, that uppercut. uppercut. Now, Mark is oh, oh. looking to finish it here. This is why everyone's been talking about Conor McGregor. It's all over. Conor McGregor, another first round win. Wow. Ultra impressive UFC debut. That is exactly why he's so dangerous, Mike. And he took some big shots, so guess what? He's got a huge chin as well. This kid's the real deal. Look at the uppercuts. It all started with the uppercuts. That's what really dazed Marcus Brimage. And from there, it was all Conor McGregor. There's that killer instinct and accuracy. Again, the uppercut early was the one that did damage and uppercuts here lead to the end of the night of Marcus Brimage. Outstanding UFC debut for Conor McGregor. And an awesome reaction as he enjoys his first career win in the octagon. The proud Irishman Conor McGregor with the official decision, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Robert Sundell has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor. Tenth first round finish for Conor McGregor. Here's Kenny. Conor, congratulations. You look great out there. Was the game plan to stand up with Marcus? Uh, I didn't really have a game plan. It's wherever it went. You know, it can't be emotional. Uh, you can't let emotions get in the way here. I think Marcus got a little bit emotional with the, uh, the Irish support getting on his back and all. It means nothing, you know. I just come in and let the fight happen naturally. Whatever happens, happens, you know what I mean? Wherever the fight takes place, that's where it takes place. I don't plan anything. You know, you know, you said not to get emotional, but you know, you got in Marcus's face at the weigh-in. Was that part of the plan as well, to really get in his face and and then make him pay here in this fight? No, I, I don't know. I just go with emotions. This is the first time I've ever had a cra uh, experience something like this, you know. But it's nearly like the WWE to me. You know, it's all just a little game. I'm just playing a little game. I don't really think anything. When I get in here, it's just the same thing. Just keep calm. You, you got an angle on Marcus. You slipped an angle and you hit him with a huge uppercut. Did you know he was hurt immediately? Yeah, I, I, he wobbled a couple of times early in there, but he was tough. I knew, I see, again, I thought, he got, I thought he was emotionally attached to the contest, and I thought he would have overthrown his shots, and he did. Uh, that happens, you know, Marcus will be back, he's three, you know. Connor, another brilliant performance. Yeah. 13 wins, 12 knockouts, unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dana, 60 Gs, baby! Someone is calling out for knockout of the night. Conor McGregor, an awesome job. And again, as, as Kenny and I saw early with the uppercut, that was his go-to punch tonight. He mixed things up so nicely, but the precision with that first uppercut pushed Brimage back. And at the end, the combination that finished the fight included a couple more uppercuts to the chin of Marcus Brimage. And, you know, humble in victory, but yet, you just saw a glimpse of the talent, especially the striking of Conor McGregor, and it, it makes you want more.